Hello, good people, and welcome to Finder Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. When it comes to data visualization and storytelling, you really don't have to go after complex tools. Your good old Excel and PowerPoint will offer you a good combination to get your story across. Well, in this short video, we are going to look at a case study where we take data from an online source, analyze with Excel, and then use Excel maps to create a very nice visual map, which will transfer into PowerPoint and then create a presentation out of that. So if you are game, join me and let's go through this together. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, China began forging ties with African countries. It wasn't long before China became a dominant and significant lender to the continent. In the last 20 years, Chinese banks have offered loans to African countries for major infrastructural works, including rails, ports, roads, etc. In this period, a total of $159 billion has been disbursed to African countries. Now, if you look at the map, you realize that a lot, if not all, African countries have benefited from Chinese loans within this period. Angola, obviously, is in a very comfortable or uncomfortable lead. So you realize that the areas in yellow, highlighted in yellow, are the countries that have benefited. Now on the right, here are the top 10 countries that have benefited from Chinese loans over this period. So Angola starts with 42.6 billion, okay, followed by Ethiopia, Zambia, Kenya, Egypt, Nigeria, Cameroon, South Africa, Republic of Congo, and Ghana. Now the story continues. But we are here to learn how to create this. So let's jump into Excel and see how we put this together. So for starters, I got this data from the Global Development Policy Center at Boston University. So that's the website. So I downloaded the data. Okay, so this is just a range of data. It is useful to convert this into a table. So what I'm going to do is to convert this control T into a table. It makes it easier to analyze, take it to pivot tables, do structured referencing and all that. Now, what we basically want here is an analysis of the total loans dispersed, which is here in column F, by country. All right, so I'll summarize this with a pivot table. So standing in the table, I'll go to insert and insert a pivot table from here. I want to place this pivot table by an existing worksheet. So I'll choose this existing worksheet, okay, and go to the list of countries. Now, the reason I'm doing that is not all African countries received loans, but I have the full list of African countries. So those who have not received loans, I want to plot zero against them, right? So I'll put this pivot table on the side, okay? So I'll click OK, okay, and then analyze this by country and USD. So I have this side by side. What I want to do is to look up, okay, into this original list of African countries and then bring the amount each country has received. Those countries that have not received anything will now get zero. But first, let's format our numbers. So here I have it rendered in USD millions. I want this in billions, right? So if you are in a pivot table, you can select any cell, right click, and you go to number format. So I'll click on number format. When this opens up, I'll come to custom, right? So I'm going to use this format, hash, comma, hash, hash, zero, okay? Which gives me a comma separated number format, okay? Now I want to see this in two decimal places. So I'll put dot zero, zero, okay? and then I'll bring a comma, okay, to knock off that million denomination, right? So it's going to render the values in billions for me. So when I click OK, if I sort this, so if I go to data and sort this Z to A, you realize that I now have it in the format that I want. So Angola, Ethiopia in that order. Now, if I compare these two data sets, the one on my left, the original African countries list, and my pivot table. I can do a comparison here. So I'll first select this. Okay, hold control, select this, control down, take off the grand total. 
well. I can use conditional formatting, okay, to see which countries are present or not. Okay, so I can use the first highlight cell rules, choose duplicate values, okay, or even reverse it and then choose unique, okay. So this way I'm able to see which items are odd in both sets. So Eswatini and all these countries are not present. But I also have an entry for original. Well, this is not country specific, so this is not going to be plotted. So at this point, I can use index match VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP. Now, I prefer XLOOKUP because XLOOKUP allows you to put in an alternative result if your lookup brings an error. And because some countries do not have loans, it is best to use XLOOKUP. So I'm going to use XLOOKUP. My lookup value is Algeria, which is at this row. Okay. And my lookup array is the list of countries in my pivot table. Here I'm selecting the entire column. Okay. And then my return array, what I want, okay, is the loan amount, which is in column F. Okay. Now, the reason I use XLOOKUP is that I have an option to put in a value if it is not found. So I'll put in zero. Okay. So when I do that and I copy this down, you realize that for those countries that did not receive any loans, they have zero here. It didn't bring my format, so I will just copy this format, select one of these cells, click here, okay, and then just mouse over this, and then I have my format restored. Okay, so now at this point, I can convert this into a table, Control T. So this is the data I'm going to plot using my Excel map. So standing in the table, I'll go to insert and here you find the field map here, right? So if I click on the field map, it plots the default global map as you can see on your screen. We want to just focus on Africa. So what we want to do is to right click on any of these areas, go to format data series, and then we have some options to the right. So here we have map projection, which is set at automatic. So in a map area, which is set at automatic, we'll change it to only regions with data, right? So this way it zooms in to Africa. So because of the list of African countries. So that's how you do it. Okay. So I'm, I'm now going to take off the title. Okay. We are going to copy this into PowerPoint. Okay. So I'll just select the map, control C and then go to PowerPoint. I'm using the same presentation. But I'm going to duplicate Control D, okay, to duplicate the original chart, and then highlight, okay, and then delete them. Now I have this blank presentation. All I've done is to format the background, okay, with this blue black gradient, right? So that's the only thing here. Now I have my map already copied, so I'll just paste this directly. Okay, so you see it here. So I can now fit it into any position that I want. Now the good thing about the Excel field maps is when you break it into PowerPoint, you still have the same settings right, available in PowerPoint. So as an example, I can add elements and I can also format and change some colors and all that. Now we also have the option to right click okay, and then format the data series. User, when you are presenting some of these visualizations, it is best to help the user focus on what matters. So what I normally choose to do is to dim the irrelevant areas and then highlight some of the key things that I want the user to take away. Okay, so at this point, I have the option to change the series colors. Okay, so we have the lowest value, which we made zero, remember, and then the highest value. So for my lowest value, I want a color that is very close to my background. So when I choose this, you realize that it sort of blends it in the background, right? So I'm going to use the maximum color to bring to the front the key countries that took the loans, right? So that is going to be the color for my highest values. So I'm now going to use this color, okay, to now highlight the countries that took the highest loans, right? It's like a heat map, right? Now, you realize that apart from Angola, which is probably an outlier, 
the rest of these countries are a bit dimmed, right? I have the option to change the series color to three color diverging. Okay, so while I maintain the first one at that blue, I can repeat the yellow, okay, for the midpoint, so that those countries in the middle would also have brighter yellows, right? So that is that for the map. Now we can now bring in the top 10. Okay, so realize that in here we have top 10. Okay, so let's go back into the pivot table and then see how we got this done. So I'm going to delete this map. Okay, and then duplicate the pivot table. So I'm going to stand here and then paste this here. Okay, now at this point I can take off my conditional formatting. So I'll come here and then clear rules from the entire sheet. Okay, so this is still a pivot table and I want to just get the top 10. So I'll just right click any of these labels, filter, and then top 10. Right, and then I'll click OK. So this now reduces the pivot table to just the top 10. I can insert a chart here directly. So I'll go with a recommended bar chart. Okay, so this gives me something like this. Now, this is a pivot chart. So let's take off some of the elements that we don't need. So while this is selected, I can come to my tab here, which is analyze and first take off the fill buttons. So I'll hide all, okay. And then take off some extra elements like the total, the legend, the chart title, okay, the grid lines, and then some of these labels. Okay, so just let the user focus on what matters. Now at this point, I want my categories in reverse order, All right? So I can highlight this, these labels, okay. Press Control One, and then it gives me this option. So when the pane pops up, I can now change this and then make it categories in reverse order, right? So this way I have its ranking in descending order. Right. Now, the last thing I want to do here is increase the bars a bit. So I'll select the bars. So I want to reduce this to about 50, right? To make the bars bigger. So that's all we need here. And the last thing I want to do is to add the data labels. So I'll now select my map, Control C to copy. Okay, come in here, and then I'll just paste this here. Now while it is selected, I can now increase the, the font, okay, to about 50. Okay. So this way, if I now open up my map, you can see the fonts clearly and while this is selected I can change the fonts to white right. so we now have this side by side for our map we will just make the colors the same way okay so I have that dominant gold color that's essentially for the two visuals now you see some elements here even though they are not very visible so I'll take off the legend so that that part also goes off okay now that I'm done, I can now bring in these captions. Okay, so this is a text box. So I'll select this, control, select that, control C, okay, and then I'll paste this. Right. Now at this point, you can bring in your animation. So if I select this one under animation, I brought in a fly in. Okay, and this one is a fade. Okay, and for the map, you can also do a wipe, okay. And you can let it come from the left, okay, and then choose to let it come by categories, okay, so that you can be able to see them a country at a time, okay. And then for my map, okay, I did a wheel, okay, to bring it in here. So now with these elements animated, okay, you can now add your story to it and then go into your presentation. Okay. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.